All right, boys, NCAA, that's what we call it. They're calling it college football now. All the news has been released. Well, most of the news, super excited. July 19th, early access is July 16th. Football season's already here. The beta, Madden beta is gonna be coming out soon. NCAA seems like it's a month away. We are lit, we are hype. It's gonna be a huge year. What is up with these guys? Super bummer, dude. All my college football videos will also be on this channel as well. We're not going to have a separate football channel, man. College football, NFL football. Listen, I've played college NCAA so many years. It goes hand in hand with Madden. Everybody expects, expecting there to be some crazy difference between Madden and NCAA. Maybe different game modes, different, obviously, online dynasty, obviously, things like that. But uh, as far as the mechanics of the game, a little bit different, especially NCAA. Always used to have tons more plays bunch of different playbooks but all in all it's football so it's going to be on this channel boys let me know if you guys are getting ncaa football i know i am i know we're super hyped about it i think this is going to be i told my wife earlier this is going to be the biggest football game drop in recent memory dude let's check let's check out the trailer as it dropped today here it is i'm sure you guys saw this get you hype honestly all the different teams all the different traditions everything uh we want in college football really it's different than football everything that makes college different than the nfl you know yeah but like i said we're not gonna get much from the trailer other than just getting hyped dude honestly just getting hyped wyoming and let me know what team are you guys going to pick on online dynasty what team do you guys rock with on ncaa i don't know what i'm done i used to always play with temple and bring them the glory bring national championships to temple but you know usc pitt penn state was at washington and also let me tell you this what team got the best traditions in college football too boys i i mean i used to love florida state you know okay stiff arms and madden we've seen animation double reverse triple reverse that looked like the turbo spin. I can't lie. It looked like the turbo spin. Pass lead elite. I did think about the one the one foot catches on the sideline, man. Are they going to add new animations for those? Are those going to be different? Are we going to have crazy new one foot inbounds animations? You know? Ooh, was that Jalen Milrow? Ooh, we got popped. Up top. Ooh, feed in. Yeah, I think the one foot animations are going to be OP. I mean, I mean, you're not really doing too much for me there on, on the, uh, whatchamacallit, not doing too much for me on the preview or on the trailer, other than getting us hype, right? It's a hype trailer. That's what it is. So definitely ready to go. Definitely a hype trailer right there. Things you love to see. Like I said, I always just like Florida State. I used to use Temple. I do want to have a online dynasty for the boys, all you guys. I'm going to talk about that as we later go in the video and we later get into uh, online dynasty. Um, obviously, there's going to be college football, mutt, ultimate team, uh, nut, or whatever you call it, cut, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, but I said before, and I tweeted this earlier on Twitter, you can follow me there. Um, college football is about online dynasty. It's not about, dude, it's not about ultimate team. I'm sure we're going to play the hell out of it and it's going to be fun. But uh, for me, Online Dynasty was one of the best experiences I've had playing sports games. And that was probably with like 15 to 20 guys, pause, uh, playing the game and, and trying to recruit against each other and try to build your team up and uh, make runs in, in college football, you know. And now with the college football playoff, it's probably going to be even better. Like more people will make the playoff and things like that rather than it was back then. But uh, let's take a look at the, at the patch notes or the uh, preview notes, so to speak, because this is uh, pretty much what we want to see here, boys. Boom. All right, here we go. College football reveal. Is this what I just watched? Yeah, we just watched that. Okay, nice. In EA Sports College Football 25, you'll experience explosive gameplay with campus IQ across 134 schools. That's a lot. For the first time ever, athletes like Quinn Ewers, don't judge me. I don't know every college football player. If you guys don't know, man, I'm not a huge college sweat. Honestly, I feel like I like watching pros better. And plus, I'm from Philly. We didn't have a huge college football presence or college sports presence 
to begin with. I mean, Philly, New York, all this kind of a pro scene. So, yeah, I could root for Penn State, but Penn State's pretty much Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, so I wasn't a big college guy growing up for the most part. Like I told you guys, I like Florida State. I thought they were cool. I always thought Michigan had cool helmets. But I did move to Ohio. I lived in Columbus for two years. So I am now a self-proclaimed Ohio State fan. But like I said, I'm not the biggest biggest college sweat. I don't pay attention to it. So, you know, if I say names wrong, I'm sorry, boys. But anyway, Quinn Ewers, Brock Ewers, who is, who is? Donovan Edwards and Travis Hunter are in the game. Thanks to a groundbreaking no deal in collegiate sports. Saturday will never be the same as you immerse yourself in the iconic atmosphere of college football and etch your own course legacy, college legacy. Let's dive into all the features. Let's go. Campus IQ. Now, this is something they always add some cute little name field sense and things like that to make some things sound cool. Maybe Campus IQ is the new thing. Immerse yourself in authentic, fast-paced college football gameplay with Campus IQ. A suite of features built to, built to deliver wide open, fast-paced, a uniquely college football gameplay. See, that seems like speed option, read option, things like that. Test your strategic decision making with an all new composure system. Player wear and tear, screen shaking home field advantages. Dude, the old NCAA screen shaking was OP. It, it really was. Oh my gosh, I'll never forget. All right. Wide open, fast gameplay, powered by a wide range of player ratings that fluctuate throughout a game. Team tiers and new in-game passing mechanics. EA Sports College Football 25 delivers strategic, fast-paced gameplay reflecting the true depth of college football. Player ratings fluctuate throughout a game, like so he can get hot, like 2K. That's what I kind of think. Like somebody could get on fire. The ratings fluctuate throughout the game. Like if they're having a bad game, they go, they just fall off. That's interesting. You know, didn't think about that. Uh, definitely um, something to think about. Are my boys? Are oh, my boys all of a sudden going to be trash and because I'm having a bad... If I throw a pick the first drive, am I cooked the rest of the game? Uh, momentum's already a big deal in Madden, but I mean, is this going to be OP? Wear and tear. With the new wear and tear system, as the hits add up, players wear down. Manage your players' health, limit fatigue, assess risk of injury, and avoid on-field mistakes by using strategic substitutions. I love this. I actually do love this. Wear and tear system. I've always found myself and thought myself as somebody that was smart enough to take a player out and bench him for a couple plays if he got yellow or he got red and things like that i feel like that's not a big deal in madden i feel like people don't fumble when they get tired we've been juking all year 10 jukes on one play and don't fumble so uh, i do think you should have to be cognizant of your players fatigue on the field and who's who's run three streaks in a row are we going to send them on a fourth streak or we're going to pay attention to their fatigue level so i do like this i do i don't know if it's going to be on for like ranked play or anything or this is like a against the computer type of thing or a whole year except you don't want your dude getting hurt if he's tired i think this sounds awesome pre-snap recognition i mean that's what all madden players are really good at pre-snap recognition makes the decision behind every snap matter more do you trust in your high skill seniors or take a risk with your untested freshman? Read the game and then read your players to make the right decision when it matters. So do I have to read my players like, like I have to find out if they're ready to play or not? Do I have to make, take a chance? Like, you know, is John Smith ready to come off the bench as a freshman and ball? I don't really know what that, that means. I mean, I feel like that's just a paragraph of nothing. Home field advantage. This is 100% a thing. It should be a thing. Now, I don't know how I feel about like home field advantage. Like, it, it, it really the home field advantage in college is one of the biggest differences from the NFL. It's insane. Rattle your rivals, college football, toughest pace of play, test your squads, road games, composure, confidence levels. As like as the NFL moves to more fancy stadium, SoFi Stadium, LA, obviously uh, the Cowboys Stadium, MetLife, all these fancy new stadiums, the one in Minnesota, all the new stadiums, they become more corporate a lot of money to get into where the college atmosphere is way more gritty, way more grimy students, people, the fans seem to care a little bit more about the game. So home field advantage is always a bigger deal in college for sure. And it should be in the game. Now, I don't know. Now if we're talking super competitive, do I want to just search for a game? Damn, I'm on the road. So now I'm, I'm up against the eight ball. My, my freshman's going to be ass because you know, it's, it's loud in here. I mean, that's a little unfair, but at the end of the day, the way I feel is like, if you search for a ranked game, I mean, half the time you're going to be home, half the time you're going to be away. I feel like it's a good thing uh, for the game. It's more exciting, makes the game different than Madden, and that's really what we want, a uh, different type of football game. Iconic atmospheres. It goes, goes hand in hand. The big house, the swamp, 
Tuscaloosa, Cod Station. I, I love this. Pageantry and traditions. This is cool, awesome, but if you play the game as much as we do, after two days, you're done watching this stuff, for real. Especially if you're playing Online Dynasty and you have Florida every single game, are you gonna watch them hit the little gator on the head every single, like, at what point does that become old? In fact, me, myself, I got enough of it in that little trailer. I'm cool off the pageantry and the traditions in a video. I want a game, you know, just a little bit. Now, it's definitely cool. And if you like that stuff and you're going to like it all year, you're going to watch every cutscene. God bless. Nothing wrong with that. But for me, I'm really, I mean, it's cool. You know, I always used to love the fight songs and, you know, things like that. It's definitely good. Okay. This is a massive dub. Chris Fowler and Kirk Herb. Now, I don't even listen to the commentators, but I do think Madden took a hit when they got rid of John Madden doing the commentary. Uh, they went to no name Brandon Gowden or whatever doing the commentary for the last like eight years has been terrible. Just just how I feel. I feel like when they got rid of mainstream announcers uh, in Madden, it took a little bit of hit, especially for a casual fan base. I don't know. Just a little bit. And having Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreit, who I believe were always on it back in the day and are the two number two, number two or the number one and number two names in, in college football commentary. Awesome. Reese Davis, Jesse Plummer, David Pollock. I mean, awesome. I, I, I love these two things right here. That's that's dope, for real. Game modes. Okay, here we go. Dynasty. Create a coach, take control, upgrade their abilities, build a powerhouse, possible, establish coaching staff, then work to recruit the best talent, high level. Take your team in the next level Dynasty. We're up to 32 players. Now, be honest. I heard about this during the day here. 32 players is weak for me. Uh, the beauty of online Dynasty for me where we were getting, you know, 60, 50 plus people in a Dynasty. Like, if you're going to have only 32 people, I mean, that's just... I understand to get 60 people is not realistic for everybody, but, like, for our community and this YouTube channel and the stream and everything, we could have easily got 130. We could have we could have filled up every single team, you know, for me. So why are we limited at the 32? Is it, I mean, I, I will I will put a stamp on this and that if, if obviously, if it's going to work, 32 is fine. If it's going to work smooth, we're not going to delete the franchise. We don't want to have to tweet, fix franchise mode or fix Dynasty then it's worth it. But I did expect there to be a bigger pool as far as the online dynasty. And I also heard that there is no crossplay in dynasty. Another super L. So with those two, for my thought, my excitement for online dynasty was, was a little bit higher. And after hearing these two things, it's only 32 people and it's not crossplay. a little bit of L, but at the end of the day, man, if, if the interface is good, if the features, of the dynasty, like they always were, the, the recruiting is fun. The recruiting is is competitive. It's it's going to be awesome, man. I'm super excited for that. We will have a online dynasty, man. Make sure you guys follow the stream and me on social media to have an opportunity to play in that, man. It's going to be super sweaty, uh, and, and we'll see. It definitely will be free. Uh, we'll put up some money for you guys and everybody that really wants to play in it. It's going to be awesome for sure. All right, Road to Glory. I don't play this really. I you know I'm cool off that. Uh, you know, if you guys like Road to Glory, God bless. I mean, I mean, if I want to play a single player game, I'll go play, you know, Elden Ring or something like that. But manage your weekly schedule, GPA, and your image. Yeah, dude. I mean, not for me. Anyway, college football ultimate team. Build your dream team. I mean, this is this is probably what we're gonna play 80% of the time. Play solo challenge, head to the seasons, upgrade your team. Test your skills across consoles in more competitive formats. Champs Gauntlet. So we're gonna have Mutt Champs in College Football Ultimate Team, Champs Gauntlet. I don't know what that is. Could be Weekend League, Champs Gauntlet. Could be their new way to say they're putting in Weekend League without saying Weekend League because they don't want to admit they made a mistake taking it out of the game to begin with. Team Builder. All right, let's get into this. This stuff for me, like I said, I love this stuff. Upload your own logo. Now, can I play with this online? I'm, I am See, you guys don't understand me. Like, I, I want a gameplay, and I want to play other people. That's what I want to do. You know, so for me, anything offline for me is like, cool, not sweating it. But we haven't been able to really upload logos on the EA games, especially Madden, whereas 2K, MLB, I mean, you're seeing titties every other game on the logos, on the jersey. So this could be a dub. I mean, the more titties in football, the better. So create your own college football program with customization tools. Okay, the team builder website. Design uniforms, helmets, fields, upload your own logo, and upload a program to use in Play Now and Dynasty. I don't think you can use it online. So for me, check out the download center to browse teams, create, I mean, I hope so. Team builder content can be used in offline Play Now and the private Dynasty modes. Internet connection, EA account required. I don't know. We'll see. MVP bundle, we will be giving away a lot of these. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You guys follow the Twitch channel if you're in the Twitch channel. Uh, follow me on every social media. My links are below. 
exclamation point links in the chat uh you'll get all that stuff and i mean it looks like that's it kind of what we expected you know i'm really not oh game modes can we oh there's just pictures kind of what we expected you know nothing crazy i think the biggest i i really like the wear and tear i really like you know i really like the gameplay stuff i like i like what i like how it's i'm excited about it seems different than what we've seen before uh and for me i mean definitely pumped definitely excited for this like i said july 19th early access is july 16th probably monday night at midnight july 15th i'm excited about it man i hope you guys are too let me know if you guys are interested in playing nca i will upload all my nca content on this channel no need to follow another one boys we want to hit that 80k before this game drops that's my goal boys